Thank you guys for the <clears throat> and girls for the warm greeting. Uh, I, I, I caught some of what they said, but I was yapping with somebody, so uh, forgive me if I repeat something they said. Uh, <clears throat> they probably didn't tell you that I'm a Libra, so just so you guys know that. Are there any other Libras in the house? Yeah, I think, yeah, we're creative messes. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, I am here today to talk to you guys about uh, raising money and authenticity in the process and what's, what that means. Tell me if you can, whoa, is that better? Is that too loud? Check, check, okay. Let me start over. Uh, no, uh, my name's Joshua. Like they had just said, I, uh, I've started and, and built and uh, owned and sold a, a few successful companies. Um, I say that because when you're in the midst of it, as some of you probably know, you can't tell if it's successful or not. So it's probably good to know if it's not successful, but um, I did Progress Coffee here off uh, East 5th Street. Cool, thank you, shucks. Uh, and now it's Brew & Brew, awesome guys. They bought that from me, so I think it's kind of rare that you can sell a coffee shop. So um, <laughs> my, uh, my daughters, two of my daughters, my only daughters are here today, Ruth and Josephine. Uh, if you guys want to raise your hands, their moral support. Yeah, ladies. Uh, my wife is actually out of town. She owns her own business, and she took our son with her, so we kind of travel for work and try to split the kids up every once in a while. So um, how many of you here uh, either are starting your own business or planning to have started your own business or have started one and sold it or started one and closed it? Let me know. Raise your hands. Okay. Okay, cool, good. So I'm speaking to some people that will probably think I'm a little less crazy <laughs> when I say some of the things I am, because some of us who have started businesses or start business or are starting businesses are uh, a little crazy, can be considered outside of the norm. Um, so the, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I want to talk about today. Um, we kind of have this, this structure that uh, we talk about some at the office uh, my, the VP of our company right now, Helm, uh, his name's Brad and he's here somewhere. Um, authenticity, that's the first thing in raising money based on my experience and uh, I think just the way it goes, not just on my experience but what I've seen and uh, been part of. Uh, authenticity and then your vision is the next thing and uh, the third thing's action. So AVA, authenticity, vision, action. Those are the three things I'm going to talk about uh, today. Oh, I, saw, I saw you say four to him. I was like, four, are there four things? <laughs> What's the fourth? Tell me. Um, <laughs> I thought you were doing that to me. I was like, shoot, I forgot it. Um, <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, like they had said, I, um, I started with a music career in, in L.A. I moved out there when I was 17, got a record deal, uh, did uh, three albums, quit on that. The road wasn't for me, and I realized that pretty quick. Um, moved to San Francisco and opened a shoe store, uh, a sneaker store. We started with vintage sneakers in 2000, maybe 99, and that was before this huge trend hit. So it, it was pretty successful, franchised it, sold it, moved to Austin, um, started a coffee shop called Progress, wow, 12 years ago, 13 years ago? <laughs> I'm old. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, th three, or <laughs> three or four years into that, I started a coffee roasting company uh, called Progress Coffee Roasting. It's still there and operating, and uh, I'm part owner of it still. We roast for Capital Vending uh, for some of these buildings downtown, and then we roast for the southwest region of Whole Foods. So I'm not involved in that day-to-day, -day, excuse me. Um, but I started uh, Helm Boots. Um, which is here out of Austin, Texas. We've got a flagship store on 11th Street, and we have about two dozen wholesale accounts, um, and we're on Zappos, and we're in Nordstrom's and places like that. So uh, it's, it's been a growing company. And when I started it, I was about, um, I might need help with this if somebody knows, maybe Brock. Uh, I was probably six years into progress. No, that's not right. I was like three or four years into progress, and the shoe bug bit me again. And I was in Istanbul, where my aunt lives, and met a guy who had a shoe factory. And literally, uh, in succession of being a, a serial entrepreneur, uh, next thing I knew, I had 
a shoe brand and a shoe line here that Stag was selling. And uh, we built a website and then it's been snowballing since then. So that's what we'll talk about in raising money. This is the first business or uh, company uh, that I've, I've really had to raise money for and it, it was a, a little while into it. And uh, uh, raise your hands, I haven't asked this. Who, who has raised money for a business before? Or who's in throes of raising money? Okay, just a few of us. Okay, well, cool. Maybe this will pertain to some of you uh, in terms of raising money. Because those other businesses I started, I hadn't raised money before. Um, I had been a little bit crazy enough to just go start them. Or I was so passionate or so driven. Uh, bootstrap. bootstrap, that's funny. That's a good one. I like this crowd. You guys just had a happy hour, right? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Um, <laughs> who wants to talk for me? Um, uh, no, so I had started those things. Uh, man, I, I used a credit card on a couple of them. Uh, I went door to door to banks and knocked and knocked and knocked, got a line of credit when I was able to convince someone uh, to invest in me, uh, in me, not the business, because the business didn't have a, a bottom line uh, yet. Uh, so I'm not here to talk about the nuts and bolts of uh, raising money for a business. I don't, I don't have an MBA, <laughs> far from. Uh, we were like, Coy and I were laughing. I focused on uh, literature, um, fiction writing, and listen to this, poetry. So, so I can wax soliloquies up here, but <laughs> I actually own businesses. Um, that was real pertinent. Yeah, those were purposeful, right? <laughs> Fundraising skills, you're right, yeah. I can write a business plan. Um, <laughs> so... Um, yeah, once, once I got to Helm, let's just talk about Helm. I, uh, I learned pretty quickly that in the process of raising real funds, uh, not just like 50 grand, 50 grand, 150 grand, this was something where it's like, okay, we need half a million, okay, we need a million, okay, we need 1.5 million, okay. And it's gotten to a point right now where we're in the middle of a raise and I'm exhausted because it's the same thing. As our business has grown, we have to work real hard to be sure that the, the cart doesn't get up in front of the, the horse. So as we're growing, we have to put in more cash and more to keep cash flow and buy inventory and keep turning it. So it's me, um, song and dance, four, four people that are now investing in the company. And the first one I remember uh, was a phone call because I was going to events not unlike this and I was making phone calls and I was sending emails and asking everybody and their dog who they knew. And then it got to a point where I had to sell progress to keep Helm going. And I did that because I knew that Helm was something that could be a real business and something that could grow legs, I felt like, and, and could survive. Um, because if you've, if you've started a business or own a business, like I said, and if you're raising money, you need to know this, you probably won't make a living. <laughs> and if you do, it'll be a while. Um, and if you do make a living, that's probably not the reason you started the business. Uh, or if it is, uh, good luck. <laughs> um, I think that that's where the authenticity of who you are and your heart and um, uh, your uh, fervency and, and how you sell yourself to somebody that, that might invest in your company, that's what matters. It's you. It's not the business. Uh, that kind of bleeds into what I would say is, is your vision. Um, Having a vision, if you don't have a vision, you probably, again, I don't want to be Debbie Downer, but you probably, starting a business, having a vision, and taking action, which is go and don't stop, those are the kind of things where, um, I, I'm trying to think how to best explain it, that if you have your vision, your vision's gonna, gonna sell your concept, and your, your, it'll help you be authentic. In terms of, my vision was, I'm going to make a record. I want to be a rock star. Uh, that's not working. I want to start a shoe store. What? Why did I start a shoe store? I want to own a coffee company. I want to do something where there needs to be community in an area of a city that there's not that yet. Um, and then with the shoe company, these things I've started are something that it's kind of proof that I have to sell it, that not, um, not the P&L or anything like that sells it because it's never been uh, at that point. Um, but if you have a vision... Your vision is what's going to drive you. It'll, it'll be your mission. It's what I say pushes the pedal um, of, of the, whole, the whole ship. Um, your vision needs to be something that if you're thinking about it now or you already have it now, uh, it's not just the product you're selling. It's not just uh, the app that you're developing or it's not just the, the building you're building. 
it's literally um, needs to be treated as like almost a limb of your body. Um, because if it's not, I would want to say as a business owner, don't, don't start something. Um, don't do something that's mediocre. Uh, we have enough of that already. And I, I would tell that to myself. Um, so I hope I'm not doing anything mediocre. Um, and your vision uh, can be there and can be something where, hey, I've, I've done this and I've brought it to this point. Will you invest in this? Um, people aren't going to invest in it if they don't see that you're willing to take action. And usually how that's seen and when that is seen with uh, investors or probable, probable investors, they'll see it in you. They'll know you've got kind of that crazy look in your eye because they've done it, most likely, if they're investing in you. Um, they'll see that you have um, the willingness and the ability to keep going no matter what while you're doing it um, and to sacrifice because the parts that I'll talk about now that are action from your vision um, are that throughout the process you will, I've always said that it's like running a marathon instead of a, a sprint, but not only that, but the marathon doesn't end. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's never a finish line. So uh, as you're running, it'll be like your, um, your legs are aching and, and you're dehydrated and sometimes you're literally prostrate and it's over, but then you have to be able to get up again and keep going. Um, I've also said before that it's like a, it's in your blood if you're going to do it, if you're going to start a business. It's in your bone marrow. I don't think it's something that's developed um, or that I've seen or known or experienced. Um, and people who have their MBAs, awesome. My hat's off to them. Writing a business plan, doing reports. We, people like me need you <laughs> to help us put structure to, to where we're going. But I had this uh, manager and uh, uh, producer in... Um, LA, and he used to say, and I was young, I was 17, 18, he'd say, hey Joshua, less talk, more rock. And that sounded cheesy, I was like, oh dude, you're twice my age and that's dumb. Um, but we'd be in the studio and, and people would be like, I'm gonna record this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna lay down this, I used to play drums for this person. And he'd say, hey, just plug your guitar in, we're turning the mic on, you know, just rock, just play, stop talking. So you see that. Um, in days like today where people are, hey, I want to start this, I want to do this. We have family members and friends and people we know who, I'm going to start a business, I'm going to do this, I want to do this. That's what differentiates somebody from gaining an investment based on their authenticity is the action. You know, because the worst thing would be, hey, I've got this business plan, I've got this vision, invest in me, and then you don't do anything. You know, kind of, God forbid that for your sake and the people investing. I think that's what I do a lot these days is, <laughs> People ask me about business stuff and starting businesses and how'd you do this and what'd you do? Um, and I'll usually try to talk them out of it for their sake. <laughs> you, you ladies know. I'll, I'll try to say, hey, I'm gonna ask you these 10 questions and at the end of these questions, um, let's see if you kind of have deer in the headlights or if you're, if you're pale and you wanna still do this. If you're gonna say no, then I've helped you. I've saved you cash, I've saved you heartache, I've saved you years of your life. Um, and I don't say that pompously or pretentiously, back to where it's the action is, I don't feel like, and, and if you can relate to this, awesome, do it, let's talk, or, or I'm behind you. Um, if you can relate to the fact that it's not only I can't just work for somebody else, it's not only uh, I can't have a desk job, or it's not just those things, because those things are fine, that's, that's really good for some people. There's something innate in entrepreneurs, and I've met other ones, usually successful ones, um, that they don't have an option. You know, it's like, I have to do this. I have to own a business. I have to start a business. I have to create something. I have to build something. I have to produce something. I want it to benefit other people. It's in my heart. I'm passionate about it. Um, and I can't not do it. Does that make sense? Yeah. If you feel that, do it. Start a business. Uh, be authentic. Take, if, you, if you feel that way, it is authentic. That is authenticity. That's your heart. That's your passion. That's your desires that will move you into defining your vision and your vision giving you the mission. And all these things are kind of the, the trinity, uh, the amalgam of raising money. Um, but action, going and not stopping because there's going to be uh, times to stop. Like I've run into 
and, and there's some of my staff and close friends here, I've run into walls over and over and over and my head's just <laughs> bleeding. Um, and people are like, what are you doing? How are you doing that? Why are you doing that? And I'm like, I, I can't not. I, I don't have an option. I can't, I can't stop. Um, not, <laughs> not in like a drug way, but in a way. <laughs> oh, I can't stop. Um, no, but like I can't stop where there, there'll, there'll be times like that. Like I was saying with you where um, if you're exhausted, you have to keep going. Uh, I've mortgaged houses twice. I've sold cars. I've... Uh, done schooling stuff with the kids that we wouldn't have done otherwise. And it's, these stories aren't, I hear people where it's like, I ate ramen and I lived on beans and now I'm a billionaire. It's like, okay, cool. I don't want to hear that on how I built this again. I want to hear how you got people to believe in you. And I want to see people's eyes meet your eyes and know that you have that authenticity that makes you just on the edge enough that they know that you would sacrifice anything and everything, financially, emotionally, physically, spiritually. Because again, I wouldn't be doing my job if I was telling you guys, hey, you know, write a business plan, ask somebody to invest in it, go to school, learn how to do it, start something, whatever, get a paycheck. Don't do that. Again, for your sake and for mine. Um, the point would be, be authentic with all of it. Let that drive your vision, take action. And taking action, I think, is probably the biggest part of it. Because again, less talk, more rock. Everybody can talk. Everybody can say, I'm going to start a business. Everybody can say, I'm going to go raise funds. That's not what it is. Uh, our VP's in the thick of it with me right now. Like, I am exhausted right now. And I've bought and sold and been successful in it. I am completely exhausted right now. I'm anxious. I'm nervous. Not because I'm speaking, but because of my business. Um, I'm tired. Uh, I, it's just like depression and, and how, how has my wife not left me? It's that, kind of, it's that kind of process of owning a business. And I don't think I've ever met anybody who, has not owned a bus who owns a business that their heart, if their heart is in it, if it's an extension of them and if they're authentic, that they don't go through that, that they don't feel that and that they don't experience that. So AVA, authenticity, your vision and your action, that's how you'll raise money. Um, you'll have your pieces of paper and your numbers, but with real investors and true investors and people that want to be part of what you're doing, um, that's why they'll want to invest in you, uh, because you're authentic and because um, you're going to do this no matter what. So thank you for having me. Thank you to the Small Business Festival. And uh, yeah, thank you guys.